Babe, you're holding my belly like I'm pregnant. I'm, I'm not sorry. pregnant. <laughs> Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be discussing something a little bit different. A lot of Michael's and my followers always ask what it's like to date someone in medicine. So I figured this would be a great topic to discuss and kind of debunk some myths that a lot of people think actually happens in a relationship with two medical providers. So before we begin this video, some of you may already know how Michael and I met and some of you may not. So I'm just gonna do a quick little recap. I was working as a surgery PA at Lenox Hill Hospital and Michael was doing his intern year there and we ended up on the same team and the rest was history pretty much we dated for a bit and then Michael left to North Carolina for his residency and I decided I wasn't gonna move down there until I had a ring on my finger after we got engaged I moved down and then we moved back to New York and now we're in Jersey so I guess this is a little synopsis of kind of what you do when you are married to someone in medicine, especially when it comes to being married to a physician, considering that they have to travel so much for training. Which brings me into myth number one, that our relationship is like an episode of Grey's Anatomy. No, no, not at all. When we worked together, it was totally not like Grey's Anatomy. I, we always get asked that question. Medicine on TV is so hyped up and no, people don't have you know what in storage closets, or at least we didn't. But yeah, we worked together and we, you know, manage patients together but it wasn't as dramatic as the TV makes it seem. Number two, you only talk about medicine. For the two of us, it's probably the exact opposite. Our conversations rarely include anything in medicine. However, when they do, it's actually really easy because we don't have to speak in layman's terms. It's actually really nice when if we did something cool that day or saw a cool case, we can discuss it without having to kind of explain the whole entire process in layman's terms. So it's really nice that we can actually discuss medicine and actually understand it. Number three, you never have time for each other. One rule that we always, always had was that we must, must, must keep date night. I think that's so important, even with couples outside of medicine, but especially with couples who are in medicine when your schedule can kind of be really sporadic. We always designated one night, whether it be a weekend or a weekday where we went out and did something together. For us, we always like trying new restaurants. So we always picked a new restaurant to try and that was our date night. There will be, and there were some you know, weeks where we didn't have date night. If we didn't go out, we would make date night at home, whether it's making dinner together, making cocktails together, having a glass of wine, watching our favorite show, watching a movie. We always made sure that we made time for each other. I mean, I really hope we continue this tradition when we do have children but I do think it's really important to always make time for each other. Number four, this is a common question that I always got was, do you wake up with all the calls that Michael gets when he's on call? And the answer is sometimes. Michael will always say that I could sleep through anything. It really depends. Sometimes I'll wake up when I hear his phone ring and I'll be like, <gasps> are you okay? Are you going in? Are you going in? What's going on? And he'll just kind of ignore me and do whatever he has to do. And then sometimes he'll have to wake me up that he's actually going in. I'm like, oh, you were awake this whole entire time. So yes, I know, but then I just go back to sleep and that's really it. Okay, so those are the most common questions questions or myths that I usually get when it comes to being married or dating someone in medicine. But now I kind of want to discuss what are like the pros of dating or marrying someone in the same field as you. It doesn't have to be medicine. It can be in any field. But since Michael and I are both in medicine, I thought these are the pros that I see with being married to someone in medicine. So number one, you can run ideas off each other. It's nice to have him around when I have a medical question. And it's nice for him to have me around around because he forgets usual dosing with certain medications that I probably prescribed a bunch of times in any of the offices that I worked at. Since Michael is so subspecialized, as you know, they don't really prescribe certain medications too often. It's nice to kind of have that team, but have that team at home. Number two, it's nice to have someone who understands your schedule. So, I mean, this can also be applied in any other relationship, but usually with medicine, you have to work weekends, you have to work holidays, you have to maybe work long 
long or you have to work overnight. So it's nice to have someone in the same field where they understand your schedule. That's especially true with the two of us. Whenever Michael is on call, we will always plan based around his call week. So whether it's planning trips, whether it's planning date night, anything, we always plan around his call week. We always make sure that during his call week, we don't have anything planned. And I kind of just go with the flow. I'll usually stay home during that week or I'll see family, friends, do my own thing and do whatever I like. All right, and the last pro, and this is especially true for me. Is the chicken ready? You have to uncover it. The chicken is ready. Oh, please. And the last pro that I have, and I think this is especially true for me, is that you get to live in different places. I mean, I would never would have thought that myself, someone who was born and raised in Queens, who never moved or left Queens, would be moving to the South and live in North Carolina for four years and then move out of New York State and live in Jersey. But honestly, you can do this with any partner in any specialty. But with being married specifically to a doctor, once you match somewhere, for residency or fellowship, you have to go there. You can't break that contract. This is a great opportunity to live somewhere else and just get a different perspective. I know that was especially true for me. Living in North Carolina, I would always say I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it actually took me out of my little bubble that I was living in. I think that this is a great opportunity where you can kind of just live in some place that you always wanted to or that you know that you're not gonna wanna live but wanna test it out. And what better way than to live there for X amount of years with residency or for you know X amount of years with fellowship. Both of us being in medicine just gives us that opportunity that we can literally pick up our bags and live anywhere in the US. Like we have that flexibility because anywhere they'll need a physician and they'll need a PA. I think that that's a great, great, great pro. I always said, I'm like, we could literally pick up and live in Alaska if we wanted to or Hawaii or anywhere essentially and we'll always have a job. So I think that's really cool. I always told my Michael, I'm like, if he really wanted to, we could probably live somewhere super rural and remote for like a year until he pays off his loans or something like that. And it would be a great opportunity. Anyway, those are some of the pros of what it's like to be married to someone else in medicine slash some of the myths that both Michael and I definitely get when it comes to, you know, people asking. If you do end up with someone in medicine, I mean, I can't complain. It's great. I feel like there should, or there probably are some like cool dating apps for people who are in medicine. Other than that, if you have any other specific questions about dating or marrying someone in medicine, leave in the comments below and like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And, and, and subscribe to my channel too. <laughs> yeah, subscribe to his, although I think he has enough subscribers. I'll see you all on my next video. Bye.